Hey everyone, I'm sure you're like me. Everyone is rushing to see the movie The Nun. But one question comes to mind, who is Valak? Where did he come from? Why is he there? What's his origin of the story? And how is it connected to The Conjuring? Let's try to answer these. So who or what is Valak? According to several demonology books, which is the study of demons or belief of demons, information about Valak can be found in the Goetic Gimores, the Lesser Key of Solomon, Joanne Weyers, Suda Monocraya Bimanum, Asvolak, the Libor Liam Spiritum. Geez, that was a mouthful. I hopefully I pronounced it correctly. If not, I do apologize to some of all the followers that might be reading this and watching. Now Valak is one of the biggest bosses. He is a fallen angel and the great president of the Gistan and the 62nd of the 72 spirits of Solomon. Jinistan or Jinn or Fairyland is a place where the Jinn, which are extra-dimensional life forms that dwell in the spiritual worlds, cannot be seen by the human eye. The Jinns can be good or evil. Valak appears to be an angelic, winged boy riding a two-headed dragon. He is attributed to the power of finding treasures. Valak has legions of other demons at his command. Well, that's what's basically known about Valak. There are ways to conjure him, which can be very dangerous. And I surely won't be doing that at this time. If you decide to do that, you do so at your own risk. I suffered long enough with these demons and it's taken a while to exercise them out of my life. But that can be for a later story. The name Valak was also used in the film Again. Valak, as you can see, is in the movie franchise of the conjuring and the The Conjuring 2 is loosely based. The Conjuring 2 is loosely based on a real-life investigation conducted by Ed and Lorraine Warren, which became known as the field of paranormal research as the Enfield Poltergeist. Having a creature dress up in a nun outfit has completely shocked moviegoers. It's definitely frightening having a creature so dark and demonic to dress in a religious clothing. It brings the shock horror value way up. Since the story is taking place in Transylvania, being that location is particularly known for like vampires, it's at a certain time period, it's already scary enough. For more, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking below and make sure you hit the bell button to get any notification on any new videos coming out. Also, if you guys have a vampire problem, we do have a vampire web series on how to protect, ward off, and slay vampires.